Hello everyone. I am back here today to talk about what to expect from your first wildlife job. This video will also be relevant for people who are just doing environmental sciences and they're not actually sure if they want to specialize in wildlife or do some other specialty. If you like my channel and you want to see more videos like this, I make videos on wildlife biology, environmental activism, click the subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on any more videos like this. This is going to be video number four in the wildlife career series. You guys have told me you really enjoy these videos because they help show you what it's actually like to be a wildlife biologist and how you can actually get this job. So if you want to see more videos in this career series, start from number one, which is how to start in high school and college preparing to get a wildlife job when you graduate. So I've actually already talked a lot about some of the tips and resources available to actually get your first wildlife job and my how to get your dream internship video. I'm going to link to that one above. Um, that video talks about how to actually find wildlife jobs, types of job boards, and tips like that on actually landing that very first job. So it says internship, but it's also relevant for people who are wanting to build up their resume to get their first full-time job. Let's go into an honest look about what exactly you are going to encounter in your very first job and how you can be more prepared when you start that job. One thing is you will make mistakes. I know you've probably heard this before, but it's one of the biggest things that is going to impact you when you first start out, especially if you're really excited about this field, you really wanna do well, you really wanna impress your boss, making mistakes and not knowing everything is incredibly fragile to your ego. <laughs> Imposter syndrome is real with both men and especially women. You might feel like a fraud. You are working in this wildlife career field or the environmental industry in general and you are like, oh my God, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm not made for this career. I'm not ready. It's done. I'm just a total fraud. And I feel like that almost every single day and I'm trying really hard to get rid of that feeling, especially since I have my YouTube channel and a lot of people who really look up to me and look to me for advice. It's hard to not feel like I'm really just faking it all. Like, do I actually know what I'm talking about? It's so normal to feel like that. And it's very internalized in young people, especially young women in this field. You'll actually have people challenge you sometimes and you might think, yep, they know it. I'm gonna be found out one day. They're gonna realize I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's it doesn't mean that you should leave this career field. It just means you're starting out. Like, here's a quick story from stupid things that I said when I became a wildlife biologist. I was out collecting examples of how many birds and what types of species were in the field. I pointed to an American robin, which if you guys don't already know, is probably one of the most common birds in North America. And I asked my boss, what is that? <laughs> I was hired to do bird work. And I was asking what a robin was. I asked the same thing about a chickadee, which is like the second most common and I was like whoa look at those when I saw geese yikes you're gonna ask stupid questions sometimes but don't let that stop you from asking them you just kind of gotta look a little silly sometimes and the one thing I'll let you in on is if you are being hired in a lower level role no one expects you to know everything they expect you to be learning and to be asking questions especially if you're an internship and I talk about this in my internship video yeah no it's normal ask questions make mistakes that's that's okay just make sure that you are willing to acknowledge the mistakes you've made don't try to sweep anything under the rug don't try to lie about anything or say that you have five years of experience doing something when you actually don't. Show your boss, your supervisor, how you are going to improve and not make that mistake again. You only want to make the same mistake once. You don't want to be making the same mistake over and over again. So make sure you really learn from those mistakes, acknowledge it, correct it, and move on. And don't waste too much energy worrying about getting fired because you might have made a mistake. One thing to expect from your wildlife job is that you're going to have to prove yourself. First impressions really matter and you want to prove that you are professional, kind, and willing to work hard in the job. A lot of times there's a little bit of a proving period where your first few months of a job where they don't really know what to expect of you. They don't know if you are really the person that they hired, that they saw the stuff on your resume and thought you'd be good. You really have to show that you actually can do that work. And that doesn't necessarily mean being the smartest at everything because there is a lot of training involved with your first job. 
but at least, you know, having the decency to show up on time, work hard, be personable, be friendly, and make an effort to really um, adjust with a new team and a new job. You're kind of needing to be on your very, very best behavior, especially starting out on a new job. A lot of times work experience that's unrelated, like working in fast food, retail can help with this because you already kind of know that you need to show up on time, some of the basic like job etiquette type of things. There's going to be a bit of a proving period, but hopefully you will show them that you actually are, it was a really good hire and it was a good choice to keep you on the team. Another thing to expect from your first wildlife job is it might not even be a wildlife job. It's actually really hard to get a wildlife biologist job straight out of school. Well, you're probably gonna have quite a mixed up job ladder. In this current economy, we're not starting out as junior wildlife biologists, going to intermediate and senior and then manager, and then that's the end of your career. That's very rare, actually. I've met a few people who have been hired as a junior wildlife biologist right when they graduated, but most of the time, you're gonna be probably doing a few random jobs here and there and moving around, maybe leaving a job less than a year, maybe doing some contracts some temporary type work and that's really normal and expected so be flexible with the type of job you accept so if someone is offering you a job as an environmental scientist studying like something that's not related to wildlife but you think the organization might have other wildlife team members that you might be able to transition into that role I would recommend that you take a job like that just to get your foot in the door first job I had out of university was an environmental compliance administrator where I helped with permitting for water wells so that obviously has nothing to do with wildlife but they had a wildlife team and I was able to tag along on some of their trips to help learn my wildlife species and field skills directly on the job there's opportunities to learn about wildlife without directly being a wildlife biologist, especially for the people who don't have a lot of wildlife biologist options in their area. So your path is not going to be super clear. You have to be open to all different kinds of opportunities. Be flexible. Don't think that anything is beneath you because you have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or even a PhD. When you're starting out, you have to say yes to a lot of opportunities. And then as you get more experience, you have the ability to start refining what you want your career ladder to look like you probably are going to work a lot of hours or almost no hours and not be able to afford to live. So the nine to five Monday through Friday wildlife job is quite rare. A lot of times there's going to be a lot of overtime, a lot of weekends, field shifts that are going to take you out of your city for weeks on end. That's not necessarily required, but it can be common for a lot of jobs. I would go into this being ready to work hard, being ready to work in all sorts of weather conditions. If you want a little bit of a glimpse of what I mean by that, um, I recommend you check out my day in the life of wildlife biologist in the field video. I'll link to that one above. There is a lot of environmental jobs that have nothing to do with being out in the field. I'll link to that one above. I know I'm, I'm referencing a lot of videos in this video because this really this topic covers so many different things. But if you're in the field, prepare to work hard, long hours, and it's a lot of fun, but it can also be quite tiring. I'll tell a quick story about someone I hired as an intern a while back. We were going out to the field and it was only a day trip. So we were in the car, we parked at the place we were gonna hike in to our field site. And she said, okay, well, you guys can go do your hike and I'll be here when you get back. We hired her as a field worker and she didn't want to leave the car. She refused to go to the field site because she didn't want to hike. Someone like that is not going to last very long at a field job. Another thing to expect for your first wildlife job is you might hate it. Unfortunately, you could go to school for six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, and then actually get a wildlife job and hate it. That's a very realistic thing that could happen and you might be wanting to just leave the career field after your first job. So I'll say two things there. One is to avoid this. If you hear that and you're like, oh my God, I'm so terrified that's gonna happen to me and I'm actually gonna end up hating this. I highly recommend that you do an internship or volunteer work doing wildlife work before you graduate or at earliest stages of possible of your university degree because the internship is there to see if you hate it and if you hate it you can transfer majors or maybe decide you want to do a different type of job you might just hate that specific position it might be a problem with the position the manager more than it is just wildlife in general even if you decide you hate the field there's so many office options it's pretty unlikely you're gonna hate it so much you'll want to switch career fields but you may want to switch job be open to that flexibility of maybe you might have to quit a job after three months because it's not what you expected. I just recommend you have something else lined up before you quit a job, but that's a possibility 
is it might not be the type of work for you and that's totally okay you might have a lot of fun <laughs> that's what happened in my very first wildlife internship when i worked with the cougars down in bolivia i had so much fun that i switched my major from pre-med to go into ecology and i realized oh my god this is the perfect career for me i also want to leave that to make put a little positive spin on this if you have other questions about wildlife that i haven't answered in this video go ahead and check out some of the other videos on my channel because I actually do answer quite a few questions on those videos. Also feel free to comment below and let me know if you guys have any other questions about this field. I hope this gave you a little bit of idea of what you can actually expect in your very first wildlife biology job. Hope you guys like that video and I will see you guys next time.